Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning July 26, 2021. So I'm smiling because as I started to tune in here, finally we have this time of peace, harmony, beauty, grace. It does feel like you have to make an effort <laughs> to make this happen, whether it is stopping yourself and checking your thinking uh, before you respond to something. Uh, checking where you feel out of control so you want to control other people um, you know or where you want to force your opinion as a truth onto someone else um, not allowing other people to have boundaries you know all those kinds of things again out of fear so maybe it's checking some of that fear or it might be making a concerted effort to step away from work for example and saying you know things are nuts but it's never going to be a good time for a vacation I need to just go off and do this, right? So it has that kind of thing, or I'm gonna give myself a break or just gonna lay low. It has very much, a, this is very much time of recharging your batteries, okay? So however that looks for you. So don't get involved in the drama, there's gonna be a ton of it. <laughs> I started out like, hey, peace, harmony, love, grace, and all, <laughs> there's gonna be all this drama going on. Uh, and it doesn't mean that you have to, like let's say it's in your family and there's some drama going on. Well, that drama might be happening because someone is genuinely upset with someone else. So, <coughs> excuse me, we don't wanna go down this road of devaluing someone's perspective or saying you shouldn't feel that way. You know, that starts to get into some gaslighting. We don't wanna do that. But, you, you know, you might have like a supportive word. You hear the person, you hear how they feel and then you let them handle it, right? So it doesn't mean you have to be involved. So and they're saying we need to correct this push-pull where we as humans overcorrect. So we see that all the time in our polarization on any sort of belief system or politics or sports teams or what the heck ever, okay? <laughs> like we have, we found so many ways to be divided that now we have to find a way to come together, okay? So there is that and I, okay, so a lot of people are doing like what, they, what they're calling peace activities, peace activities. So this doesn't even have to be like, yeah, I'm going on a vacation because I'm an adrenaline junkie and I have to jump out of an airplane or I have to go down the side of a snowy mountain with two little sticks on my feet. Skiing's the worst idea I ever heard of. Who came up with that? I want answers. <laughs> I want to know the history of this because it just seems a little nutty, but um, <laughs> my own fear is coming up. But this is that kind of thing where you're doing something kind of chill, right? So giving yourself permission to rest, to recover, to, you know, if you are feeling pain, to go off and make sure you have that proper support. Make sure you're getting to talk about what you need to. Um, if you need a nap, you take a nap. If you want to, you know, take a nice salt bath or something like that, you take a nice salt bath. Because again, there's going to be lots of stuff, okay? There will be plenty of things happening to get upset about to get shook up about but really they're saying if you if you could all realize your power the love power that you have and when we kind of align and we clear our energy that's where things start to flow and we start to see solutions right and they're saying even now that most of the time people don't see solutions because they're they're winding their brains up in this very like focused manner because we've always been told that this is our powerhouse, right? I mean, it's powerful, but it's not all that there is. So we're trying to like force a solution that may fall apart later, or we're trying to, you know, just drive ourselves nuts to figure something out, but we don't have all the information yet, right? But when you're in your heart space, you can sit with what is, and then you can have this brilliant spark of like, oh, I wonder if that could be a solution. You see what I'm saying? And you start flowing with the information that is coming in. Something feels big. Hold on. I know this face, right? I've seen whales. Uh, I don't, I saw a whale. <laughs> I'm waiting to see what the heck that means. Um, it's a whale. I Symbolism, whale symbolism, I don't know. What are you guys telling me? <laughs> something big is coming, something big, but it is also something beautiful. And okay, so this could be misused too. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. 
because I because they were showing me the whale and they're saying but the, and then I heard predator and so I don't know if that means like the whale is kind of the whale seems to be symbolic of what's on our side <laughs> right um, and the whale kind of coming in and swallowing up what isn't working I know this is like the weirdest thing it's not always great I, I don't know <laughs> we just do what we can every week here um, and I see, I am seeing an orca whale as well. So I'm seeing different types of whales. Are orcas known to be predatory? Some free willy stuff right there. I'll tell you what. Uh, <laughs> but the, it, it's a very balanced feeling. So the, the, it feels like something big is coming. Coming. It's beautiful. It's good for most of us. But it's still a predator, and it's still going after something that has been a bother. We'll have to see if more comes out. Maybe there'll be more clarity in the cards here, but what else guys? Connecting with nature, very good thing for this week. It's detoxifying, it's grounding. That's the big message here. So make sure we are making time for that. I know I haven't been out in a couple of weeks because there was a heat wave. I wasn't feeling so hot. You know, I don't do well with heat whatsoever and had a headache and you know all kinds of things going on so I, I haven't been out in a while but um, yeah I think it's gonna be very very important for us to reconnect with the earth great time to do and, and don't overthink uh, this you know if it's like just planting a little flower box do it I mean that's that's great or if you want to get some plants for your home I mean my home is just short of a jungle in here I swear I, have, I don't have any do I have any behind me I think I have my air plant back here, but they're all over the place. I, I surround myself with plants, but it's that kind of thing where you're getting in touch with the earth and getting back to basics, getting back to basics and uh, reigniting your heart. It's all those kinds of things that we talk about all the time, but here's this like unique opportunity. And yes, this does weirdly feel a little circumstantial. I mean, that's not usually uh, how we approach these messages where it's like, oh, wait until something outside of you happens and then you'll be, no, it's like something comes along to free us. It's not the end all be all. It's not the final word. It's the final word on this situation, whatever this is, but that won't be the final time the help arrives. And that's what the whale, this whale, uh, the whale is representing is that help is on the way. Help is on the way. Sharks, what in the heck? Okay, what is going on? So I don't know the relationship between whales and sharks. I know that dolphins will go after, uh, go after sharks but um, it has that kind of feeling like there's sharks in the water and then the whale comes in and I don't know if the sharks are scared of the whale, they ain't messing and they run, <laughs> right? So it has that kind of feel. We'll have to see how this plays out. I know that's kind of a crazy message. Let's get onto the cards and see if we get clarification. All right, so let's see if we can make sense of what the heck. Some of you might be going whale watching, but why is that an important message? You're in control of your own destiny. Um, you know, you're in control of what you do day to day, so. If you choose to go whale watching, you will. There you go. All right, first card out. What do you need to release waning moon? Uh, yeah, so that is, that makes sense with the nature, okay? And what do you need to stop fighting? <gasps> what do you need to stop chasing? Moby Dick. I had to pull for that one. Could be, could be. What do we keep chasing? And what, what are the obsessions? that run us or other people's obsessions. You know, it's very real. If you have somebody who's obsessed with you and it's not, having somebody obsessed with you is not the gig, okay? Don't, don't manifest that. You do not, that's unhealthy and psychotic, okay? No, maybe not psychotic, but you know, it's creepy. It's super creepy when someone is like constantly watching you and watching your, studying your every move because they're doing it on purpose to gather information about you so they can use it against you. Be careful, okay? I don't know. I'm coming from my experience. Listen to me only if you want to, but, <laughs> but you know, when, when somebody is super obsessed with you, you can feel their energy if you're sensitive and they will tap into that. They know that you're empathic and so now all of a sudden you're thinking of them and it's an energy drain. You don't need it release it. If other people are sort of invading your territory, even energetically, let it go. What, what are your personal obsessions and where have someone else's obsessions uh, become yours? Okay. 
a new start is coming, new moon. Yeah, so when we realize this, we're going to be free. <laughs> we're going to be free. And I, like I said, there's this whole feeling of, you know, releasing some of those old, you know, or healing from old traumas, releasing some old wounds, um, stop chasing something. Yeah, some people are trying to chase like the origin of their pain. And they're saying you don't need to. You don't need to. The, the more settled you are within yourself, the more that realization can come about and you can have this new start this new approach and again there's this feeling here of regain your energy so if you want to do a soul retrieval activity you can do that um i had somebody scold me one time in the comments saying that uh soul retrievals soul retrievals cannot be done by the individual that's nonsense that's usually a practitioner who's trying to get money out of you by disempowering you and saying that you can't do things for yourself. If you want to lean on a practitioner, that's what we're here for. That's how we make our money. But that's only if you feel you're going to get some value out of it. Don't let it, anybody ever tell you, you can't do your own healing. You are your own most powerful healer. And what's more, I always tell you, you can listen to your angels too. Now you can come to me if you want some help in doing that. I'm here to help you figure out how to do that, right? But for someone to flat out say, you don't have the power to do that, you have to come to me, run away, they are selling something, okay? A fi Ooh, this is <laughs> appropriate. A fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. Take your power back. Yeah, how many cards have I pulled already? Two, three, okay, three. So get your power back, start to understand yourself, make different choices, do not let people take your power away. Now. I've also heard, you know how humans overcorrect, people are like, I don't need anybody else's guidance. I'm the best, da, 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 da. Okay, well, listen, <laughs> people are here to reflect back and forth from one another. So bear that in mind as well. But something is coming to a culmination point uh, where you're letting it go and you're saying no. And part of that fiery climax, it doesn't have to be a fight necessarily, but it could be you finding the path forward and saying, I'm ready. My batteries are charged. I'm ready to go, right? Don't let pride get in your way, full moon in Leo. So again, what are the stories we tell ourselves for self-importance? Because a lot of people who are self-centered, they say, oh, I just have healthy love for myself. Loving yourself is healthy. Thinking you're above everybody and you're special is delusional, okay? Everybody's equal. Oh, you didn't like that. You're delusional, everyone's equal. Have we just met? <laughs> that, that stuff will not be tolerated here. <laughs> like self-centeredness does not get tolerated. But, you know, letting pride get in your way, this might be, I don't want to let go of that thing because I was never proven right. Or um, I don't want to have that conversation with that person because they never told me, you know, they didn't support my, again, delusions of grandeur. <laughs> like they, they didn't support that. So I'm, we all have to watch our pride. We all get prideful, we all do it. I mean, not maybe to that extent, but we all have things that we don't want to admit or give into, you know, so on and so forth. Cherry, live an extraordinary life. The number is nine, be done with the prideful stuff. Be done with trying to prove your worth. Be done with the things that drag you down, okay? It is time to get out there and be creative, have fun, enjoy, as it says here, or excuse me, live an extraordinary life. So what have you always wanted to try that you didn't get a chance to do? What have you always wanted to be a part of that maybe never came to fruition, okay? It's, it's that sort of thing. It has very much this energy of a second chance. You have a second chance at trying something. So if you are 85 years old and you say, you know what? I've always wanted to be a ballerina. Well, maybe you're not gonna go out there and be on your tippy toes and doing all kinds of stuff, but can you, with your doctor's permission, of course, <laughs> you know, making sure everything's safe, can you go out there and just learn some of the graceful moves so that you feel the flow in your body, the flow of a ballerina? You don't have to be a professional ballerina to feel the flow of that movement in your body, right? Uh, it was just stuff like that. We're given a second chance because we're having a load lifted off of us. Um, help is on the way. Things are clearing up here and, and we have to take action for ourselves as well. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.